Earlier this spring, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw that my friend Yuki was making these cute little tiny hats for cute little tiny dogs and it, seeing it just made my heart explode. Because it was springtime, she was putting little ducks on these little hats and are you kidding me? It's so cute! I looked up more of her work and for Valentine's she had little hearts on these little springs. I think that's such a cool idea. So I saw these on Instagram back in March. It's now October 21st and I haven't stopped thinking about them. Often I'll be going throughout my day doing regular Claire stuff I think, huh, you know, I'm glad something like that exists in the world. <laughs> I'm glad she made those. Because I haven't stopped thinking about these things, I obviously need to recreate them. Not exactly recreate them, but make my own dumb version of them. Like spiritually, I have to do this. So I have some blue fleece already, which is perfect. The blue acts like a lake, so when I put the little ducks on, it kind of makes sense. Hi, friends. So sewing is a relatively new hobby for me. I've been using a serger for a few years to make dog bandanas, and I've been intimidated by sewing machines for a long time. And it's not really logical because the serger is much more complicated to thread and to troubleshoot. When I get intimidated like that, it's a sign to me that says, Claire, you need to tackle that shit. You need to, you need to figure it out. There's something about learning new skills that just makes me feel less dead inside, and so we're just gonna roll with it. I made the first mock-up, and it was too small for Maisie's little melon head. She's a pretty small dog, she's eight pounds, and so I assumed that the extra small of this pattern that I bought would work. It didn't. She's got a huge forehead, you guys, like, just like a melon. Oh, side note, I, I lost the footage of Maisie trying on that first hat. I can't find the first mock-up anywhere. I must have thrown it away, so I can't even recreate it. But just trust me when I say it was too small for her melon head. And I had to work something else out. That's the point. So, first mock-up didn't work. That's fine. That's not going to deter me at all because we need to make these wacky hats. Nothing is going to stand in my way. So I found another pattern online and thought, this one looks like it'll be a bit better for my purposes, which turns out it totally did. No, Claire, don't do it. No. It basically melted and shrank when I ironed it. Rookie mistake. It's clear that we need to take a break. Maisie has been really into watching Columbo lately. She likes Columbo. Yeah. So even though it shrank a little and melted a little bit, it's still workable. So we're moving forward with the melted hat. See, looks fine. Well, I'm, I'm using my iron again, and it left an impression of the iron in the hat. Fortunately, I will be covering that area with plastic ducts, so it's fine. Now I'm wrapping wire around a giant pencil to make a spring. I assumed all of this was in the frame. Whoops. Okay, now I'm gluing a piece of fabric with fabric glue to cover up the spring so that it's soft on the head. And there isn't wire poking into your head. So I got these little plastic ducks in. I want to embrace the absurdity of having a plastic duck on my head and on my dog's heads. Once I got the rubber ducks in my possession, I did what anyone would do. I cut their heads off. But it's, it's not like weird or anything because art. Chop, chop. Chop, 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 
Okay, so it looks like I'm figuring some stuff out, determining what the composition of the hat will be. Uh, laying out the cute little duck heads. Ah, uh, yes, that shall be the configuration of this hat. Okay, now I'm going to sew them in place. Resist the urge to glue them like a cave woman. I sewed them on like a like a true crafts, crafts, crafts woman. So I made first hat and I thought it was Maisie's size, but it was just a touch too big for her. Once I put the spring and everything on, it just kind of went to the side. So it's just a little too big. Fortunately, Cosmo, he's got a like a chonky neck and chonky cute little face. So this size fit him perfectly. So now we've got to make Maisie a smaller hat and a bigger one for myself. I'm using the extra large dog size for my puny head and an extra small dog size for Maisie's even punier head. Looks like I'm having a deep thought. Okay, that's enough. Hell yeah, it fits. Now it's time to attach some ducks to the last two hats. You can tell I'm excited about what I'm doing because I'm hunched over like Gollum. One. Mixing polymer clay together three, with a pasta grinder five, maker. Eight. Fifteen. Forty-eight. Three hundred. So what I'm doing right now is making lily pad buttons to sew onto the caps. Oh yes, and they're made out of polymer clay. Okay, that's probably enough metal montage for now. Now that I've got all my ducks in a row, let's finish these hats once and for all. Step 100 and something. Attach the ducks to the hats. Step 100 and something and two. Sew the lily pad buttons on. You know, the finishing touches. Ow, fuck. Step 100 and something and three. Good. Try the hats on. Oh yes, girl, this is the look for you. Now that we've got the hats completed, uh, what are we gonna do with them? What do people with ridiculous hats do all day? Easy, they watch the Kentucky Derby. I was minding my own business watching the Kentucky Derby reruns when I realized I'm hosting a Halloween party at my place tonight. I do not have a costume. But then I remembered I just made this cool hat. I knew it would work somehow. Oh, you want a picture? I'm gonna take a video. Ask me what I am. What are you am? 
Is it running already, or do I have to hit record? It's running, but you got to do it uh, horizontally. Oh. Hey, Claire, what are you? Lake. Cool. Thanks. It's really hard to track you because you move so fast. It's like trying to follow a stuntman slash ballerina. I do my own stunts. Really? <laughs>